Today we're opening 20 of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh blisters. What's up guys, we're back with an insane old school opening. We have 20 of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh blisters ever. This contains nine of the first 11 original sets. We're missing Pharaoh Servant and Dark Crisis, but we have all the other ones. So we're talking about LOB, MFC, IOC, all these crazy ones. We're gonna be opening them in this video. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two structure decks. We have a Cyber Strike and an Albast Strike. Some, some really good staples. And of course, Albast Strike is one of the best you know structure decks we've ever had. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite card we pull or your favorite blister that we open. Lots of good ones in this video. I'm excited. Let's go. First, we have this is probably the rarest blister like in this opening because it's a double blister and you rarely ever see these. It's two of the same pack. They actually did this for a lot of different sets, but you pretty much never see them. So we're going to start with the Ancient Sanctuary double blister, see what we can get. Let's open it up. It is pretty beat up, so I don't feel too bad opening it up, but it is rare. So probably not the best idea to open it, but that's how we roll on this channel. Double blister has been decimated. What can we pull from Unlimited Ancient Sanctuary? Here we go. Can we get a nice dark magic attack here we go ancient sanctuary bring us some awesome pulls our first pack of the opening i think we have 20 blisters so 21 packs because we have the double blister weapon change protector of the sanctuary we've got an order to charge that stack almost knocked it over mermaid knight nubian guard backfire we are recording the mic which is very important second sarcophagus three on Placuta, and we have a grave protector so nothing nothing in that first one that's okay we have a second pack that's why the double blister exists so you got two chances will it be a foil let's see how many foils we get out of 21 packs let's see how much money we make back from all of these it's not going to be a lot we're going to lose quite a bit on this because these are rare items they're really expensive sealed not so expensive when you open them we have dora of fate mystical shine ball delta attacker elephant statue of disaster We've got a Ruxin special with the Absorbing Kid from the Sky. Des uh, Desert Taper, I think is what it's called. Uh, Goblin Thief. 2,000 Needles. And we have a Special Hurricane. Specially zero foil, zero out of two so far. We're going to alternate a little bit. Let's go to Pharaonic Guardian. We are 0 for 2 so far. Pharaonic Guardian Unlimited. We are opening some stuff. This is unlimited, so you really should definitely not be opening these. At least first edition, you can get some pretty big value cards. The Unlimited, not so much. Uh, we're just looking for the cool cards. That's what we want. Value is not what we're about in this video. So if you're enjoying it, you know, you like seeing the old stuff, make sure to subscribe because that helps out and we will be doing more of this in the future. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get a Metamorphosis Trap Dash shoot, anything like that. Cry you well, nice. Buster Rancher, what a name. Poison Mummy, very nice. We got a Ruxin special with Call of the Mummy. Gravekeeper's Curse, Banner of Courage, Curse of Aging, Yomi Ship, and we have... Ooh, there's a foil, a dark room of nightmares. So I was about to say, well, we didn't get any of the good commons, but we did get a foil. I feel like we pulled this last time, the dark room of nightmare. Pretty cool, we'll take it. AST, probably the worst set we'll open today. The other ones, I mean, a lot of these are pretty high end. We're talking like Metal Raiders, IOC, MFC, even Unlimited, those are pretty crazy. Let's see what we can get. We have one, two, three, four. Let's pull something amazing. Night Assailant, that's pretty amazing. We'll take it. First good common of the opening. Dora of Fate, Mystical Shine Ball, Delta Attacker. As one apparition, armor break, judgment of the desert, absorbing kid from the ski, a eh? and the thousand energy. Oh, I don't really remember this guy. I've not pulled that card very often, so thousand energy, pretty cool. Now we're on to labyrinth of nightmare. This one's actually not in that bad of shape, so I should probably shouldn't open it. But uh, there we go, we've opened it. I can't go back now. Here we go. What shall we pull? Will it be magic cylinder? Will it be? Last warrior from another planet. So far, one foil. Not too great. Let's see if we can pull another one. Crimson Sentry. Collected Power. Miracle Dig. Lightning Conger. Grave Robber's Retribution. Very nice. Fairy Guardian. Gadget Soldier. Offerings to the Doom. And a new via the Wicked. Just a regular old new via the Wicked. All right, Ancient Sanctuary. I'm losing my voice a little bit for some reason. Probably recording too many videos. But I want to remind you guys, if you guys want to check out my TCG Play and eBay affiliate links, you guys can check those out down below. If you buy anything through there, uh, you might as well use my link because it doesn't cost you anything extra. It supports my channel. So reminder for that. Here we go. Chain of Fitting Room. Let's go. Sand Gambler. Let's pull something good. Wall of Revealing Light. Rocket Jumper. Solar Ray. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. Emissary of the Oasis, and here we go. What will we pull? Final card, will it be a foil? 
Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. This was money for a while. It's not now. I don't think so. Maybe it's a dollar. I don't know, but still not that great. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Here we go. We still have three of these left, so we'll open one of these. We have some pretty big ones coming up, but we only have like one or two of all the really big ones, so we're going to save those toward the end. Let's do this. We have a... Oh, we got a Ruxin special almost. Let's see if we get a foil. Hysteric Fairy. We've had good luck with Elowin recently. Headless Knight. Can we get a Secret Rare? Lady Panther. Grand Tiki Elder, pretty cool. We got the Emperor's Holiday, the Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. You love to see his dreams fleeting. We've got the Lady Assailant of Flamas. Dragonic Attack, and is this it? Is this our final card? I think it is. We have a Dark Spirit of the Silent, another super rare. Very cool with the black text. Not, I mean, it's technically an error, but they're all like this, but still pretty, pretty awesome. Ancient Sanctuary, you have returned. We are only down to two of these left. Oh, we just uh, got that open pretty easily. Will there be an epic pull inside of Ancient Sanctuary? So far, what, no foils out of Ancient Sanctuary? AST kind of letting us down. Let's see if they can change that here. One, two, three, four. We have Wall of Revealing Light. Formerly had one. It re recently became, um, you know, unlimited. Rocket Jumper. Monster Gate. Pretty good for those, uh, mo what, what am I trying to say? Not Duel Links. Go Format decks. Nine Assailant. Speaking of, we're probably going to be doing some Go Format tournaments in the next year, like 2023, for members of the channel. So if you guys want to check that out down below, become a member. Order Smash. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Maybe some Edison tournaments as well. Kickman. Sword of Soul Eater. Nubian Guard, and we have a Theban Nightmare. This is like the cover card of Ancient Sanctuary with how often we pull it. Theban Nightmare. Don't worry, Pharaonic Guardian will save us. Let's go. Let's see if we can get a good pull out of Pharaonic Guardian. Metamorphosis, Trap Dust Shoot, um, Maiden of the Aqua, Dice Jar. I mean, there's some great options here. Let's see if we can pull them. We have a Banner of Courage, Curse de Aging, Yomi Spirit. Maiden of the Aqua, yes. This is one of the most expensive cards. I'll let you guys guess why. Yeah, okay, there we go. Very nice. A Claw Scorpion, Swarm of Scarabs, Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, and here we go. Will it be a foil? Let's go, Dark. Designator, Jack Atlas is at it again. All right, we're officially down to uh, where we have two of some of these, and one of them is Invasion of Chaos. This is a pack that we should definitely not open, but you know how this goes, guys. We are opening it. We are destroying the pack so we can see what is inside invasion of chaos this is unlimited i think because it's in a blister it means no ced so we're really looking for the demock or the bls let's see one two three four i would be happy with either of those that'd be really amazing because this is original ioc not reprint curse seal of Grin spell pretty crazy card actually for back in the day gigantis even now multiplication of ants terror king salmon he got a recent retrain pretty cool and dark wing blast griffin's feather duster awesome inferno DNA transplant and uh, is it next? No. Sea serpent warrior of darkness. He has battle prowess, indeed. Oh, fighting prowess, I should say. And finally, we have the straight lamps. <laughs> this is not the card we're looking for. All right, not bad. Let's go to Legacy of Darkness. Let's see what we can get. Oh, that that thing just really opened up very easily. These packs are flying everywhere. We're digging corners. Let's pull some big. One, two, three, four. Come on, LOD. We have the dragon dwelling in the cave. Check out that centering. Pushed way up. Tiny little spot at the at the top. Spirit Invitation, Twin-Headed Wolf. Gradius is option. Well, uh, Rex and Special, Super Rejuvenation. Went up for a long time for a while. For a short time, it went up for a lot. Went up a lot for a short time. There we go. Battery Action Samochi. Robo Lady. Serpentine Princess. And is this it? Is this the foil? No, it's a Susan Soldier. Okay. So far, what? Two foils? Two foils, both supers. We're looking for an Ultra or a Secret in one of these. All right, I think this is our last pack that we have two of. So Labyrinth of Nightmare. Oh, check this out first of all. $1.99. Two dollars, so pretty cool. We opened some of these recently and uh, we pulled okay. We didn't pull anything great. Can we get a secret rare? I would love it. It would be awesome. We have the Rock Spirit, Flame Dancer, Fire Sorcerer, Curse of a Mass Beast, Garuda of the Wind Spirit, The Emperor's Holiday, Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, Lady Ascendant de Flames, and we have a another magic card. No! <laughs> Not the spirit message, L. Why? Why do you do it to us like that? Come on. All right, we've been hit with the L curse. Not looking good, but we are heading into some of the best blisters. We have one more Ancient Sanctuary, and then we have like MFC coming up. We got one of those. We got LOB. We got Metal Raiders. So if we get some big pulls out of those, that'd be big. So let's start it off with Ancient De Sanctuary. Let's go. Can we pull something good from the Sanctuary? Piranha Army. We're going to be farming in Duel Links after this. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have a Blessings of Denial. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Pretty good card. Beckoning lights in here for the Lightsworn. It's pretty cool. Vampire Lady, Piranha Army to Farm, 
Human Wave Tactics. Solar Flare Dragon. The Law of the Normal. And here we go. What will it be? The final card. It looks like it might be a foil. It is the Agent of Force Mars. Let's go. A super rare. Three supers now. We're looking for an ultra or a secret, but we'll take a super rare from Agent Sanctuary. So we have like five packs and got one foil. Seems about right for old school Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Next, Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. Our second pack of IOC in this video. Let's see what we can pull. Oh my goodness. That pack just fell apart. Can we pull the Democ, the BLS, or the Balloon Lazard? I'll take that. Chaos Grade, the Thing of the Crator, Energy Drane, Molten Zombie, Soul Tigre, Zbrier <laughs> Primal Seed. I'm losing it. Good Maju Day Isa. And we have a. IOC, why do you do us to it? Do us to it. Do it to us like that. That's what I'm trying to say. This is this is not going well. This is what happens when you record too many videos in a day to get ahead for Christmas, but that's what happens. Magician's Force, $3.99. Anybody want an MFC uh, pack for $3.99? I'm talking $3.99. I do. This bit, Mr. Blister. I cannot speak. That sounded like a like a, a slur or something. I, I hope it's not, but <laughs> yeah, blister is what I was trying to say. Oh my goodness. Magician's Force, here we go. What can we pull? <laughs> Dark Magician Girl? I think I don't think we can because it's a blister, but I don't know. Who knows anymore? Because after that last time when we pulled it, I'm not sure. Dark Paladin should be available no matter what. Let's see what we can get. Breaker as well. Roulette barrier. Let's go. Pineapple Blast. Let's get something cool. United Resistance, the people that gather to swear to fight their oppressors. A revolution is coming. Let's go. My body is a shield. This is a great card. Cure you. Also pretty good. Actually, okay, I don't know if that's good. I just was saying for so. I don't know why I said that. Second Goblin, Formation Unit. We have a Freezing Beast. It looks like the card in the back is not damaged, so that's a good sign compared to our last MFC opening. Here we go. Will it be a foil? Let's go. Let's pull something good. It's a trap card. Spell Shield Type 8. Honestly, this is not a bad card. I use this in my Relinquished Goat deck. It's really not that bad. Another super rare. I want something besides a super. Is that too much to ask? I guess it is. I guess it is. So right now we got four super rares. That's it. I would love an ultra. I would love a secret rare, especially would be awesome. PGD, Pharaonic Gotti, the seventh set in Yu-Gi-Oh! History. Let's go. Come on, let's pull some good comments. Gravekeeper's Curse, Curse of Aging, Yomi Ship, Giant Axe Mummy, Servant of Kitabalism, This Disturbing Strategy, Gravekeeper's God, Hieroglyph Lithograph. And is it the next card? It is a reckless greed. The greed is reckless. Also a pretty good card. Wait, what? That was first edition. I didn't realize that until I just saw that. That was a first edition pack. Looks like it shifted up a little bit. Kind of cool. All right, that was a first dead pack. I didn't really realize that. That was the only one of the whole video, I think. Legacy of Darkness. Definitely not first edition here. Still a bunch of packs left. I think one, two, three, four, five packs left. What can we pull? There's a train outside. Is that a good thing? I hope so. I hope it's saying something. Can we get a secret rare injection fairy lily? That would be a cool unlimited one. I'd be down for that. We have life absorbing machine. Ooh, that is creepy. That is like, uh, it's like Paris in, in Pokemon. Emergency provisions. The illusory gentleman wearing old fashions. This gentleman is very fickle. He sometimes saves people and at other times commits crimes. Okay, I feel like that guy's based off of like uh, the for Vendetta or something. A legendary ocean, pretty cool. Ryu Kishin clown. Heart of Clear Water, even though that came out after that, so probably not. Uh, ominous Fortune Telling, or is that made after a book? I don't know. Ominous Fortune Telling. We've got Mysterious Guard, and here we go. Will it be a secret rare? Let's go! No, it's another Susa soldier. Susa, why are you all these soldiering in my packs? I don't like it. Get out of here, man. LON, I just want one Ultra and a secret. Uh, well, one of these should be great, but how about one of a, any of them, of either of them, an Ultra or a secret? Labyrinth of the Nightmare, come on, give us a good pull, man. I mean, I'd prefer it being these other four packs, but I would like if you gave us one as well. Let's get a secret rare magic cylinder. Soul of Purity and Light, pretty cool. Deal of Phantom, also nice. Flying Fish, the wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. I love it. Crimson Century. Swordsman of the Land Star. Bait Doll. We got a Forgiving Maiden. Saint June, and we have a jam breeding machine. Another rare, no! Three packs to go. The first three sets ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh. This is an original Magic Ruler pack, actually in great condition. Should definitely not be opened. For some reason, this one's like mint. Wow, I shouldn't have opened this. Oh well, here we go. <laughs> okay, and that like opened the easiest out of all of them. That's hilarious. All right, can this be the secret rare we've been looking for? How about an ultra rare? Either one would be really, really cool. 
Magic Ruler, man, these look really nice. One, two, three, four. These are a little warped. We have a Twin Long Rods. He's at it again. Chorus of Sanctuary. Pretty cool card. Mechanical Snail. A cyborg snail that still travels at a slow pace. He's a cyborg and he's still slow. What's the point of that? I don't understand. Guardian of the Throne Room. That's the little brother. Where's the big brother? Griggle. These are definitely warped. Final Destiny. Very nice. Penguin Knight. All right. Eat Gaboon, also pretty cool. Is it this the next one? Is this the foil potentially? We have a Invader of the Throne. Let's go, and this one's not warped. What's up with that? I thought the foil was supposed to warp. I don't know. Super rare, I was not expecting that. That's our fifth super of the opening. Five supers, no ultras or secrets, unfortunately, but pretty cool, we'll take it. Two packs to go. Metal Raiders, my favorite set. This thing is about to open up, so this one is one that we should open because it's halfway open at this point. Metal Raiders, original. Can we get that Picanium off? Any of those Ultras or Secrets would be amazing because they have the absolute best cards in Metal Raiders. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Big Eye. His eyes are big. I mean, it's Big Eye, but look how many big eyes he has. It's very weird. Should be Big Eyes, right? Ring of Magnetism. Unless that's just his name, Big Eye. It's like just his, the guy, that, what he goes by. Mushroom Man Numero Dos. Wasn't this the card that got expensive for a while? I think it is. Blast Juggler. Oh, Ruxin Special. Be careful. Blue Wing Crown. Okay, pretty cool. Tongyo. He's got a tongue. Lava Battle Guard. I think we got another card. More infant. And finally, will we get a float? Nope, can off, unfortunately. Here we go. Sangan, that's a pretty good rare. I mean, that's the rare you're looking for. Sangan is a great card out of Metal Raiders. We'll take it, we'll take it. All right, so, so far we have five foils out of 20 packs. That's the race, that's the correct ratio of what we should have, but they're all supers. Can we get our first Secret or Ultra out of Legend of Blue Eyes? This, even in Unlimited, is like a 300 plus dollar blister, I think, last time I checked. So, here we go, let's ruin it. All right, $300 blister has been ruined. We now have Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Can we pull something from the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh set? Here we go. Original Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Not first edition, but it's still pretty amazing. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be the Blue Eyes, White Dragon? We have Sogan, the Field of Grass. Mystical Sheep, Numero Dos. Tripwire Beast. The Skull, Red, Bird. Come on, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Skull Servant, the most classic common in this set. Green Phantom King, come on. Hitotsumi Giant, played by Kaiba in the first episode. Laser Cannon Armor, and finally, can we get a foil in the final card of the Legend of Blue Eyes Blister? It's like 300 bucks, something like that. Whew. Oh, it's a fusionist, it's always a fusionist. All right, well, that was a big loss. That was an extremely fun opening. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything above a super, so nothing too crazy to talk about, but I hope you guys enjoyed at least seeing the old cards, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up, because 50% of you guys are not subscribed. I actually haven't checked, but I think it's actually like 57% of you guys are not subscribed, so I mean, what are you doing? Might as well do it, right? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.